All right, welcome back to more Hollow Knight. Let's go fight that boss. Here we go back the long way around, unfortunately. Whoops, oh no, please don't land on any spikes. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> oh. That's what happens when you try and rush. Memory serves, there's a lot of spirit right in front of the boss, so we should be able to take a bit of damage on the way and not have to worry about it too much. It does make me slightly worry that we're going to have to trek back all this way every time because my previous track record with bosses is not to first time them. Um, but we'll see. I swear there should be like a shortcut around here. Hmm. You try, buddy. You try really hard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. Oh yeah, that's the short. That's. It's so weird that there isn't a shortcut there. Um. We get this. This way. Yes. Wait. What do we do this way? This way. Yeah, that, look, that glass up the top, I reckon, is what we can break through to come back down. I think that's probably the power we're going to get next. Oh man. Ah! You do get a nice chunk of gear off these guys at least. Whoops. He turned around when I didn't expect him to. Yeah, this was a shortcut, and that goes up to the attic thing. Yeah, this is it. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Soul Master. Okay. Not sure how this is gonna go. Ooh, shockwaves, okay. And they circle back round. Ooh. Man, this is rough. Ah, man, that nearly went well. <laughs> okay, you can get over that. Just about. Ah, uh, can you... I think you can break... Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's tough to avoid. That's fast. Oh, come on! Oh, I don't think I beat him. I thought that was a, a win. Oh, man, this is going to suck. I'm going to have to go all the way around every time. Oh, God. Hmm. I don't think this is the best boss placement I've ever seen.
Oh well. I think I complained about this in a previous, in like one of the early episodes. I was struggling with something. Oh, gone the wrong way again. And I remember saying, there's a lot of backtracking in this. I don't think it was in relation to a boss as well, even then. Hmm. I mean, it's not too bad this time, but still. The fact that these guys can follow you between floors is kind of annoying. Because it means you can't just avoid them. You kind of have to deal with them a little bit. Whereas, you know, in the last one, the mantises, whoops. Uh, I got really good at just not touching them, not getting near them. Woo, okay. Thought I'd made it clean over that gap, but I haven't. Right, well, at least you're up here, you're not in the boss room. Oh, what? The spirit doesn't come back. Damn. Okay. Oh, that's rough, that one. Oh. Yeah, that's... Hard to avoid that one. Yeah, I'm sure on one of the little ones I could break those. I guess not. So sometimes he leaves a trail behind and sometimes a uh, shot goes behind and that, and sometimes he doesn't. This is the worst one. Okay. Yeah, see, no shot waves in that one. Ah, see, shot waves on that one. Easiest way to Ah man. Ah Yeah, this is a tough battle. Yeah, those shockwaves are random. I I don't understand that. It's so hard to get out of the way of that. I think you have to but the trouble is the tendency is to jump out of the way but then you're on the way back down when you know the the potential shockwaves are coming out i think what you need to do is, and what i need to do is get in the habit of dashing out the way when he first appears and comes down and then i'm set to jump over the shockwave if it appears My first instinct is always to jump. This guy is annoying. Because there'd be a boss version of these guys. One of the most annoying enemies I've encountered so far in the game. I 
at least with the boss he's following a pattern with these random enemies you can tell that they're moving it's the same with the knights with the spears the flying ones you can tell they're moving in reaction to you so the game has just said you know this is a set distance i want you to keep from the player and so as you jump towards them they jump they move back to the exact distance that you've moved forward and it's for one thing it doesn't look particularly great oh see what i did there i just yeah okay Stay on the ground, move out the way. Then. And. Move uh, Yeah. So the best thing is just to stay alive, don't need to rush. Ah, see. That double dash is awkward. Just stay alive. Ah, oh, that went better. Okay. Yeah, the double one is horrible. Okay. Oh, come on. Judgment there. Yep. Oop. So was that. I wonder if I should try using my projectile. We're oh, getting a lot of good hits in here. Yeah. Am I supposed to be doing something when he does that? Because it keeps happening. And then... What other options do I have? I don't have any other... Apart from my projectile. Ah. Oh, come on. Ah, okay. Fine, I will accept that. Hooray! Another power. This is good. Oh shit. Oh, okay. There is a stage two. Good to know. Oh shit, this is not going good. Ah. Nope, okay. Okay, I did not expect a stage two there. Uh, I wonder if we have to go back to stage one. I hope not. Uh, I'm not a fan of multi-stage bosses either, okay? I know I'm complaining a lot. Basically, I don't actually like video games. No, it's... Um, uh, there are definitely some design choices in this game that I think not artificial, I suppose artificially inflate the difficulty by just kind of being slightly not unfair but just you know the way you're expected to do it I suppose if you're you know really good you could just chance your way through a, a boss fight like that but on the first try but a lot of these bosses rely on learning the patterns that they have and so it's, it's a little bit trial and error you know 
I'm gonna maybe fight you here for once. Fuck you. Um, yeah, it's trial and error to learn the pattern. Which, you know, it does work. You can see that that first stage was getting easier and easier. As, you know, on the third time I did it, I made it through. And that was because I, I kind of knew what to expect by that point. But the first two attempts, you know, I can make guesses of what the pattern's likely to be, but it's not, you know, known. I don't know for sure. And so you get caught out. And that's fine. You know, if you have bosses that all have similar patterns but change things up, or, you know, I suppose it's building on enemy you've already seen, you could argue that. But there's like the downward dash that sometimes has a shockwave, sometimes is a double faint, and, you know, things like that. Ah, uh, look, magically back to stage. Ah, oh, fuck me, off to a good start. I guess the point is, yeah, like I say, if it's trial and error gameplay, it's fine, but then, you know, you need to compensate for that by having, shit, having the save points, for example, be closer to the fucking boss, and, you know. That was good. That time I actually did manage to do what I said I was going to do. Ah. Uh, double faint is such bullshit. Well, this is a good time to heal at least. While well, this one's going on. Ah. See? I can't figure out how to deal with the double thing. Hmm. Looks like if you still just get out of the way rather than oh shit rather than jumping oh okay so there's a ledge there ah, okay and you can't jump from that position so if I'm on that bottom corner I need to remember that I can't jump over oh man this is not going well. Right. Ah. Oh, I got caught under that fucking rock again. Okay. At 
least he didn't get some cheap shots in during the transition between stage one and two, like last time. While well, I wasn't aware that there was actually a fucking stage two coming. Don't jump, just up. It's fine. Oh, thank god. So stage two is a lot shorter. I can live with that. Uh, so I didn't actually get the superpower in the end. Now I get it. Uh, right. Good O. Desolate dive. Tap B while holding down to strike the earth. Will deplete soul. Okay, good. Now where am I? Uh, okay, that does not seem to be working. Oh, there we go. That was weird. Let's, uh, let's have another look around here, just to make sure there wasn't something I missed. There was. like that before in my life. 350. Not bad. Okay. So let's try and figure out the control scheme for this. Whoops. Desolate dive. Ooh, okay. Whoops. Ah, nice. More things to sell. Uh, more baddies to kill. Uh, that's not very well. I was kind of hoping that would be another mask shot. Ah, it's a cracked floor. Shit. I wonder if you can stop it. Whoops. Mid dive. Somehow. What would be really nice is some kind of like um, area of effect attack. Something that can hit on both sides, for example. That would be very handy. Okay. Probably worth going back to the shop again. Uh, maybe we should go and flog what we've got. Thank you. And get, uh, I don't know, get that mask shard, I guess. Get some more, try and build towards some more health. One 
is reinforced. That one is not. Let's see what's up here. I wonder if uh, my projectile got upgraded with my nail. Like, whether it's just literally. No, it's probably just the nail, isn't it? Because it was nail smith. Not attack smith. I need to keep an eye out for some pale ore still. To. Ooh, shit. This is not super great. There we go. Let's see if we can get that level two, uh, level three, I suppose. Nail going. Oh god! Really I'm sick of these enemies, and I've only fought them a couple of times. Like, I've never gone so quick from. Oh, this is interesting and different mechanic. To oh, fuck these guys so hard. Whoop. Some ace platforming on display. Have we already been through it? Oh, we have been through it. Oh, great. off to the left there. Did we ever see that? Oh, I'm going to have to go back round and double check. I wonder what happens if you're underneath the elevator when it comes back down. There's a spike on the bottom, so... Probably nothing in the fine. I expect, given the track record this game has with fucking you over with things that you shouldn't expect to hurt you. Alright, go back into the boss room and see if we can spot an exit. Oh, that is literally just the way we've been, we just haven't updated the map yet. I am a moron. Well, sorry for making you sit through this again. Don't worry, I see him. I wish I could blame the game for that one, but I think that was genuinely me, just not pressing the right direction. Okay. Hmm. Oh no, that was the reinforced one we can break through. Okay. So, all those shaky floors we kept coming across are now fair game, which is interesting. Not interested. Okay. I mean, I remember there were shaky floors as far back as the fungal wastes. Can I be bothered with that? Okay, let's stop here for now, and then I guess next time we'll try going down and see what's over there on the bottom right. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you liked it and you would like to subscribe. 
come back and check us out in the future for more Hollow Knight and more other videos. More other videos. Good grammar. Done talk good. Oh, hang on. Hang on. What's this? Ah. Anyway. Please like and subscribe if you liked it and would like to subscribe. Um, yeah. I've said it already. Bye.